It's the 50th anniversary of the Seal of Cotton, an iconic trademark more than 90% of Americans are familiar with, according to Cotton Incorporated's 2023 Seal of Cotton survey. So joining us today is Cotton Incorporated SVP of Consumer Marketing, Kim Kitchings, to tell us more about Cotton's true American story. Kim, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me, Lisa. I'm so happy to be here to talk about the 50th anniversary. Now, what's Cotton's impact for consumers out there? It absolutely is in everything. And we don't always think about it, but from the minute we're born, we're wrapped in a cotton blanket in the hospital, if you think about that. Uh, then we go home to cotton sheets, to towels. Uh, we wear T-shirts, denim jeans. All those things are cotton, even hygiene products. And you bake with cotton seed, oil, and many of the food that we eat, we don't know that. Uh, but in addition to that, it also has an economic impact. It provides income to more than 250 million people worldwide, and 28 million of those are cotton farmers. So it does good in so many different ways. The Seal of Cotton is celebrating its 50th anniversary. How was the seal even created? Sure, originally the seal was created to identify cotton products and to regain market share for synthetics. If you think 50 years ago in the 70s, you had leisure suits, polyester, so much going on. And so we wanted to recapture our market share. At that time, it was meant to be on sewn-in labels and hang tags. Uh, but as we continued to gain market share back from synthetics, we started doing television advertising. You may know the slogan, the fabric of our lives and then moved into other categories too to make that emotional connection with consumers that no other fiber has. How did the seal of cotton change consumers' views on fabrics? Sure, as consumers became more familiar with it and really started to think about what their apparel was made of, because you, do not, you don't always think about that even today, they realized that it was breathable, it's comfortable, it's hypoallergenic, uh, it's natural, it comes from the earth. Uh, it also lasts longer in their closets than other items do, which we all need in the inflation, inflationary period we're in right now. Makes your dollar go a lot further. So mm -hmm. just that connotation and bringing it to consumers' awareness that cotton is better for you and better for the environment has helped us all. How does cotton quality compare to synthetic uh, fabrics, and why is it even better for the environment? Sure. Well, as I said earlier, it's natural. It comes from the earth. Synthetic fabrics do not. But more importantly, too, that when you're done wearing those cotton items and loving them, you can recycle them. And if you don't recycle them into other goods or into a program, uh, if it goes into the landfill, it biodegrades. Synthetics do not biodegrade in landfills and certainly not in waterways. Everything we've heard about in microplastics and pollution in our waterways today, cotton doesn't have microplastics. So cotton doesn't contribute to the global pollution of plastics today. And where can we go for more information? Sure. We'd love for the viewers to go to thefabricofourlives.com. There you can learn more about how to take care of cotton, about the environmental impacts of cotton, even where to buy cotton. But most importantly, what you can do, do today is check the label. Look for cotton. Make certain that you're buying what you think you are. Kim, thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me today.